everybody, this is Max Prime. I'm coming to you with the lovely, the talented, the amazing, the, there's so many these in there. Uh, I have Aaron Darling with me, uh, TV host, producer, comedian. Hi, Aaron. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am amazing. Um, my first question for you, because again, I've been following you for a while now, and I've been following all your, your comedy, like comedy and conventions. So my first question is, for comedy versus conventions, what is your favorite thing to do more? Comedy versus conventions? Man, that's a really hard question. I mean, I don't know. I, there's so much I love about both. Um, comedy is awesome because I don't normally get to perform at conventions, uh, even though I'm always working there um, on camera doing stuff. But I don't know. That's a really tough question. <laughs> I might have to say comedy, to be honest with you, but I love, like, I love Comic-Con, and I love doing that, and I love that whole world, but I can't really imagine just picking one, you know? What would you choose? Uh, uh, well, probably, you're right. I love comedy, too, though, and that, that leads <laughs> to my second question. Like, how did you, how did you, like, begin your, like, stand-up comedy career? Like, how did that, like, you know, did you just, you're just discovered, like, hey, I'm funny, I'm going to do stand-up, you know? It was kind of unexpected, actually. I uh, kind of randomly fell into it. I was producing video content for this website, and they were trying to create some sort of entertainment satire show, and I'd never written a joke a day in my life. So I thought that I'd get into a writing class, a comedy writing class that ended up being a stand-up class, and there was a showcase at the end of our class, kind of like a graduation show, and then I just kind of ended up getting booked around town from that showcase and just started meeting people, and it became a bigger part of my world. So that's kind of how it happened. I didn't really expect for it to go like that. Wow. Do you do you like like do you do this often when you perform? And like, where would my like if my viewers, where would we go to see you perform? Um, I mean, all over Los Angeles right now. I was on the road full time for a while, but I'm back in LA for the time being. So mainly just any of the places around here, bars, uh, comedy clubs, anywhere with a microphone, my living room. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's awesome. Like, what are some of the upcoming conventions? Do you have plans on, like, attending, like, Comic-Con? Are you traveling across the country, staying in California? For the rest of this year, I'm staying in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, but next year, who knows? Because I've been lucky enough to work with Con TV, and they've been an amazing family, and they have all the Wizard World Comic Cons, which are all over. So I think next year we'll probably jump right back into that, and then I'm not sure which ones we'll end up covering. But I'm really hoping that there's a lot that we get to do because I have so much fun doing that. I really hope that we can kind of keep the ball rolling and go to a bunch of conventions and and see the world through a nerd's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> as far as for TV, film, whatever, what, what are your plans now for, like I said, for 2016 beyond, like, conventions? Like, what, what, what do we have in store for Aaron? I haven't really thought of any specific goals, um, but I always do this at the end of the year. I always kind of assess where I'm at and where I want to go and try to make some changes and some plans. So I guess I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet in terms of where I want to specifically end up. But, you know, I've had a lot of fun opportunities this year, and Con TV has been one of them. So I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of that in the new year. And then, of course, comedy as well, and continuing the path. I think I'd like to start acting a little bit more and get back into that. Um, when you're always on the road, it's hard to shoot things or to go on auditions. And I think now I'm at a time where I can kind of get more into that world as well. So I would love to throw that in the mix and, and just try to enjoy life and be less stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. My last question, will you marry me? Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> You guys didn't see, I kind of proposed to Erin, and I will be mailing her the ring. But again, Erin, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. It was my pleasure. Thank you.